Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you this morning for a album review. And sorry that I didn't do this album review last night. It's just I was having a difficult time finding it. But I'm glad I found it this morning. So this is for Black Veil Brides' is an new studio album, uh, The Phantom Tomorrow, which I think is their sixth album, if I'm being honest. Uh, so I'm going to discuss what I listened to for this new Black Veil Brides album, The Phantom Tomorrow, and let you know my thoughts on it. So let's dive into this review. Now, I was not crazy about Scarlet Cross that much. Uh, it was one of the weakest songs, in my opinion. Um, but the other songs are not too bad. So, I think the interludes and introduction to the album was very good so this album's a good effort from them um it's a good album for what it is uh they had to delay it so much uh it was meant to come out it probably could have come out like last year but due to the fact that they had to delay it due to covid and other things production work they needed to fix up on. It seemed like the right kind of album to release two days before Halloween. It was supposed to come out June 4th of this year, but it didn't happen due to the fact that they delayed it to this and wanted to make story arcs for this album and other things for it. Uh, so, yeah, I guess it was worth the wait. But I wouldn't consider this my favorite album this year. Um, but Scarlet Cross, like I said, is my very least favorite song. It's one of the weakest songs, in my opinion. So I gave that a 3.5 out of 5, and I'm sticking by my rating of what I gave it. Born Again was not a bad song. I was really surprised with Andy, how he's singing in the song. It sounds really good. Uh, so, yeah, and Blackbird was another great song from the album. Uh, I wouldn't call it a fantastic song. It's not a bad one, I should say. Uh, I think after Scarlet Cross came Fields of Bone, the next single, and that has grown on me a little bit more. I'm not used to the chanting stuff that they always do. So, yeah, the chanting stuff could have been cut out uh when i reviewed that track i called them fucking posers which i recorrect what i said and wanted to s apologize for me saying that they're not fucking posers they're just it it's their whole gimmick i guess that's what they go for nowadays so yeah they're more of a hard rock kind of band now they used to be screamers and all that, but they don't rarely do it that much. Uh, hard rock, fast rock kind of stuff, or whatever you, you defy them, uh, define them as the genre they are, I should have said. Uh, Torch is not a bad song either. Crimson Skies was not bad either. Um, Spectre's Interlude is the interlude before you get to the song Torch. And it doesn't sound so bad for what it went for. Uh, so 5 out of 5 for that one. Shadows Rise and The Wicked One were pretty solid tracks. But another least favorite of mine has got to be Kill the Hero. I don't know, it just wasn't feeling for Andy Black's, uh, I guess you could say vocals in that song it just didn't suit well with me i don't know maybe i'll have to give it another listen or something like that but yeah for what this album went for i think the final track fall eternal was a pretty nice way to end the album so yeah and pretty much i did like the way born again was being played out uh, Andy Black was singing pretty well in that song. And Torch, like I said, where he's like, my words become a god. 
lyric. It sounds really good. The way he's singing it, I'm like, wow. Did not see him raise his voice that high. Because I thought he couldn't hit that note, but I guess he can. So his vocals are doing much better than the last album. The last album had some good songs, but I wouldn't consider Veil to be my favorite album from Black Veil Brides. In my opinion, I thought it was their weakest. Um, but yeah, production-wise, mixing and execution, this was a pretty good effort from uh, Black Veil Brides. I was really surprised with this album. I did not see myself liking some of the songs, uh, but they're not going to get five out of fives. They're not going to be perfect songs, but they most of them got 4.5 out of fives, in my opinion. So, yeah, overall, I think Blackville Brides is the Phantom Tomorrow album was a good listen. I highly recommend you check it out. Um, it's going to be on my decent to good albums of 2021. It would have made it to the best, but I don't see it being the best album this year. But it's a good listen for what it went for. Even though Scarlet Cross was a step down from how the record would have been played out. I just wasn't feeling for Scarlet Cross that much. It sounded nice, but not nice. It just just one of those songs that were a little fillerish. If you can understand where I'm coming from. Uh, but just to get through the album. The beginning of the album. So for a score. I'm going to give Black Veil Brides the Phantom Tomorrow album. An 8 out of 10. This was a good listen. Like I said. Highly recommend you check it out. If you haven't listened to it yet. It did come out today. So it's on YouTube right now. Um, I was trying to review it sooner. And I am going to have another review coming out maybe tonight for Attack Attack's uh, Long Time No See EP review. That's probably going to be the last review I do for this Friday's releases. And the next review is going to be Bad Wolves, uh, Dear Monsters. So definitely tune in for that next review. Comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of the Black Veil Brides uh, album the phantom tomorrow if you've heard it and if you like this album review i made for you guys this morning comment below and let me know your thoughts on it tap a like on this video if you liked it subscribe to my channel if you can to support the channel like i said i was having a difficult time finding it for download last night and going into midnight it was just becoming difficult difficult i should have said i sounded a little weird when i said it <laughs> But I will be returning to you for the Bad Wolves, Dear Monsters album review. So, sorry, that's my notebook. I sh kind of showed for a brief second. So, I'm going to check out the Bad Wolves album and hear how it's going to sound. But I'll also have an EP review tonight for Long Time No See for Attack Attack's new EP. Uh, that I was surprised that came out today. Uh, maybe I'll decide to do it before I go to work. I don't know for sure. But I'll let you guys know what happens when I'm done with the review. But stay safe. Take care. I hope you enjoyed this album review for Black Veil Brides, The Phantom Tomorrow. I did the best I could to make it as good as possible. And as always, I'll see you in my next review.